Babe, I've got something to tell you. Actually, I've got something to tell you, too. Okay. You first. Why don't you sit down? I want a divorce. Wait, what? I don't know what to say. Where's all this coming from? You never appreciate me anymore. I mean, last week I made you your favorite meal. You didn't even say a word. And then yesterday, I came home and I found all these shopping bags hidden in the closet. I mean, we're already in debt. What are you doing going shopping? And then today, I got a call from your boss and he told me that you quit. I mean, why do I got to hear that from him before I hear from you? I mean, that was the absolute last straw for me. It's not like that. Let me explain. Just save it. I mean, if I'm going to be totally honest here, yeah, I'm just going to say it. I've been seeing Stacy for the last few months. Stacy? She's my best friend. I know. Apparently she doesn't like you very much either. So, here's a divorce agreement. I've already signed it. I don't want anything from you. The faster that you can just sign this, the faster we can get it all done. So, fine. I'll sign the papers. Just to be clear, if I sign this, it means you don't get anything from me, right? It's not like you have anything to take, but yes. There. It's done. This all makes sense now. You see, the reason I never said anything about the meal you cooked me last week is because I have been vegetarian for three months now. And you made spaghetti and meatballs. That's not my favorite meal. That's Stacy's. You got your girls mixed up. The reason there were shopping bags in the closet is because I was going to surprise you with a trip to Hawaii for our anniversary. Had you looked inside, you would have noticed they were men's clothes for you to wear on our trip. And actually, we are not in debt anymore. Well, I'm not at least. The reason I quit my job is because we, I mean me, I won the lottery yesterday. Twenty-five million dollars. I told my boss first, and I was coming home to surprise you. So I am really glad that we've got in writing that you don't get anything from me. My attorney will be in touch with you while I'm in Hawaii. Have fun with Stacy. One of the best things that come out of difficult times is you get to learn who's really there for you. There's always gonna be a lot of people around when things are great, but you'd be surprised how quickly they disappear when they're not so great. What's important to remember is, if someone isn't gonna be with you during your worst of times, then they don't deserve to be with you during your best of times. So ask yourself, if you were going through a tough time, would your partner help strengthen you or abandon you? If you were broken down to pieces, would they help pick you back up or walk away? If you were stranded in a storm, would they suffer with you or be quick to leave you? A real partner is someone who would be there for you even though it would be a lot more convenient to be somewhere else. So don't let people celebrate with you at your best if they don't believe in you at your worst. 